It's late November and there's been a small push of birds into the area. This is the time of year that usually produces nice mixed bags and that's what my goal is for today. Mallards are favorable of course, but I'm not going to be picky. The birds seem to be very weary and know what decoy spreads look like. The area I'm hunting in is where a kayak shines. I'll be able to hide better and hunt holes that most people cannot find cover in. I'll need to make sure the hide and decoy spread is perfect for this hunt to work out. Good morning. I am glad that I've got lights on the kayak. If you guys can see. Yeah, barely. I went to uh, go turn my headlamp on when I was launching the kayak and uh, headlamp was a no-go. It's not a dead battery. It's just not working. It's broken. So I got to use the light from the camera and light on the kayak to get to the spot that I marked on Onyx. So if you guys don't use Onyx, you probably should, especially if you're hunting public because you're able to Use the line distance tool to figure out how long your kayak paddle boat ride or walk is and then you can also mark spots in the marsh that you want to hit because sometimes these holes are kind of hard to find in the dark. So today we've got uh, about three dozen decoys. we got two of these F.A. pintails. Where's the spoonies? we got two F.A. spoonies, about eight teal, and then two dozen of these last pass mallards these are my kayak mallards they're a little smaller i mean slightly bigger than a teal decoy but it allows me to fit a lot more of them in the kayak so light wind today cold fronts pushing through there's actually a little bit of ice on the water so we'll get things set up here and wait for the birds i think it's going to be another good day gotta love it when a group rolls up on you 30 minutes before legal and sets up right next to you i picked up my stuff and moved so at least gave us another 50 yards or so um I think this spot might actually be better than the first one. So we'll see. Everything's ready. We got just about five minutes till shooting time. So quick little readjustment and uh, we should be shooting some ducks. We'll load the gun here and be ready for shooting light and hopefully see some mallards flying today. Here's one, coming right in. Smoke them. All right. Nice. It's my pintail for the day, pintail drake. They go a long neck on oh, I at least think it's a drake. I can't really tell. It's kind of dark. Yeah, it's a drake. He's just not fully plumed out yet. Sweet. Bonus duck right off the bat. Whew. The little 20 gauge did the trick. Let me cover up here. Ooh. Doors are icy this morning. It's kind of hard to keep them closed. Here we go, coming over top. Coming over top, checking things out. <laughs> it's been a bit of a tough one this morning. That other group came in and now all the birds are going to them. Uh, I'm hoping once the sun gets up a little more, the birds will be able to see my decoys a little bit better. I think they're just in more of an open spot. I'm in kind of a tucked little hole in the marsh, so that's probably benefiting them with this low light situation. So who knows? We still got all morning long to hunt these ducks. So there's some more flying into the marsh right now. Got one pintail on the board. What's that? Yeah, one pintail. So. See what we can do. What do these birds not like? Oh, 
Charlie, sorry buddy. I think you might be the problem. Well guys, it's official. I am a Susie Slayer. The band hens too. So with the way that today's going, I'll take what I can get. So only Drake Mallards and no pintails from here on out. Is this some sort of a challenge video? This has officially turned into a challenge video. Two mallard hens. So, uh, can't shoot pintails, can't ain't shoot any more mallard hens. But, with the way today is going, I'm taking what I can because I really don't know what's gonna work the set, so, I'm not here to hunt, not be picky. So, up to three ducks, it's been great. So, shooting's been great too. I've shot four shells and killed three ducks. Cannot complain about that. So we'll get buttoned up here. Hopefully shoot some more birds. And the big glowing orb in the sky is right on me. Hopefully it'll melt some of this ice off. But that can be a bit of a challenge here pretty, pretty quick with that sun. Little green ringer. There we go, little green wing. I wish I got more out of that group, but beggars can't be choosers. Nothing's been working great today. It's been weary, weary, weary birds that just don't want to commit. It's been kind of weird, honestly. Yesterday, the birds were all over it and wanting to dump in. Maybe it's the wind, maybe it's the sunshine. I don't know, but it's been a very slow day with seeing a lot of birds, but nothing's committing to the point where I want to shoot them so I don't know we'll keep at it I've made quite a few adjustments I've moved the blind twice moved the decoys a couple of times so a group of teal did it so we'll see what we can do here the rest of the morning got two more ducks to shoot got a pintail a green wing and two mallard hens so not a bad day well here's today's haul drake pintail just barely getting some colors but it is a drake and same thing with this green wing just barely getting colors as well starting to get some spots on the chest a little bit of red on the face and then the two favorites for today the two susies two mallard hens uh, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already it means a lot when you guys do that today was a good day i mean given the fact that the way the season the way that the season's been going four duck day can't can't complain about it uh there was a lot of ducks there was a lot of ducks working a lot of weary ducks and uh they worked my set they worked the other guy's set and uh i think both of us were having the same problem they just weren't wanting to finish and commit so that sucks <clears throat> but i mean i did everything i could today to 
get these birds to finish. So I moved my blind like three times, adjusted the decoys a bunch, took the spinner out, put the spinner back out. Like I tried everything I could under the sun to get these birds to work and nothing seemed to work to get them to come in. So I think they were just weary ducks, weary smart ducks flying in big groups. They just didn't want to commit. But the ones that came in, they did it pretty good. We got four ducks total so cannot complain so if you guys enjoy this make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you have not already and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button tons more hunting content coming the way here's a dog didn't bring the dog today she is not quite ready we're trying to work on some more training stuff she needs she's like her skill set's really good she has pretty much every skill skill that she needs to be a good hunting dog at this point but she's just not mature she has not matured enough to wear she's gonna be performing like i need her to and uh being a youtube duck hunting guy and showing all this on video it can uh really people can really razz me in the comments the nice thing about it being hunting season is i got birds to work with fetch hold good so we get to work on fetch and hold and picking up birds which is great drop good job so yeah what we've been doing is uh with the birds I've been shooting, we've been doing some reps on fetch and hold and doing some short retrieves with the warm, thought out birds. So it's good, but I think we need another cold front to really bring it. We're like one push away from it getting really good. Like it's, it's definitely better than it was, but I think we're still one push away from it being really good. And I can't wait, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys on the next video.